Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn, and this is a video about how to cover your under eye bags. Okay, so there's two things that I'm doing in this video that I have already used this product, and there's another video about that, and it is called the Brazilian Beauty Serum, and it goes underneath your eyes. I'll put a little more on, just a touch, just so you can see what the product is like. And you do wait for it a bit. So this is the product and it goes underneath here. Now, I already did this in another video. I'll put that link that below, or if you're watching this on Paparazzi Perfect on IGTV, you can see it as the first video. So I've already done that, but I just wanted to show you it again because I don't wanna, you know, I don't want you to think that I didn't already treat them. Um, but you can do, this technique even if you haven't treated them with a product like this. So if you don't have an under eye serum that's sucking up your eye bags, <laughs> then um, that's okay. That's okay. Do not worry, okay? Just uh, do what you can with what you have and then get something else. And if there's other products that are like this that do that, then get those, whatever works for you. Okay, so here we go. And yes, I have rollers in because usually um, what I do when I'm getting ready for the red carpet, i.e. trying to be paparazzi perfect, which for me is really difficult, right? Um, because I do it all myself without any glam squad. And every once in a while I'll hire somebody um, for hair usually. Um, and then every, like at my wedding, of course, um, I had a, a you know, celebrity makeup artists do my makeup, you know, so, but for the red carpet, I've always done my own makeup so far. And um, this is one of the tricks that I use. So this is a palette that is from CoverGirl and it's called Full Spectrum. Okay. And what you want to use is this orange color underneath your eye. Um, let me see, what brush am I gonna use? I think I might actually use my finger. Yeah, this finger doesn't have any of the other product on it. Did that dry? Yes, it did. Just making sure. You want that product to dry. You should give it at least a minute. So now I'm going to, now see with that product, it's not, it's really not as bad at all. So I don't need this as much, but I know some of you guys don't have that and I wanna show you this technique. So you're gonna take an orange color. There's other things you can get like this um, LA Girl, so you can get like stuff in a tube like this, but it, the important thing is that it's orange. So I got it on my finger here, and orange takes the darkness away under the eyes. I have like darkness in the corner there, so. and it counteracts the blue on the color wheel. Orange and blue are the opposite, and when you see the dark coming through, it's actually blue from your veins. That's what's causing that darkness under the eye. Now, mine has gotten much better because I've been using a bunch of different things to help it, um, one of which was the Dermal Repair Complex, which is a supplement. I'll link that video below too. And then you're gonna wanna go through with your concealer. Now, I normally wouldn't take the concealer and um, just go like this, right? Because then your actual concealer is going to get orange um, and you might want to use this in other areas of your face. So this is the Infallible um, from L'Oreal and it's an 03. And so what I usually do is I put a little bit on my hand. I should take my scrunchie off. Um, I put a little bit dropped it. Sorry. Let me make sure to clean it off and make sure it didn't get dirty. Ah. Okay. So I usually put a little bit on my hand. You can put it on a beauty blender. And then I go in with a finger that doesn't have orange in it, like maybe this one. 
and I put it over. And yes, I have makeup all over me now. <laughs> I feel like there should be a theme song for this. I'm just a regular gal, trying to be paparazzi perfect in a glamorous world. Maybe I'll get my friend Haley, who's an amazing singer, to do it, because I am obviously not an amazing singer. <laughs> but like, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> do you see the challenges? I mean, like, I don't know how people do their hair in these YouTube videos and everything's perfect while they're doing it. It's not my existence. So then I'm taking this beauty blender. This is this beauty blender I've shown you in other videos and it has a little stand, which I love. And I used it today, so it's still dirty from this morning. I usually clean it out at night and let it dry overnight and then use it again in the morning. So you see that even corrects it even more. Now, the great thing about that um, Brazilian serum and the fact that it, uh, Brazilian Beauty Serum sucks everything up is that you don't need a lot of concealer after that if you don't have the dark circles and so it is making it so you have to wear less concealer but I just want to show you like like you know mega glam under eye bag hiding and do you see how that has really corrected the darkness and I just love that now the other things that you can do with this palette so that you don't think you're getting the whole thing just for that one thing you can use these colors to contour um, and so you can I'm just looking for sponges and brushes um, you can use any of these to contour and um, contour your face including this dark one and of course you know someone's gonna have gorgeous skin that's this color so they can use that for like under eye concealing um but obviously my skin is a little bit more over here so this i could use like i could use this let's see if i still have a clean finger i could use this color as a concealer let's just see if we can swatch it for you you know and that would actually do well underneath there to because sometimes under a eye bag if you do a little bit darker do you see how it hides it a little bit more people make a mistake with an eye bag and put a lot of bright concealer underneath of it to like highlight the area but if I do this if I do this under both of them it's darker than my regular concealer that I use just on a regular basis when I'm running out the door. But what that's gonna do is sort of recess that eye, right? Because the lighter, the highlighter that you put on for a concealer to hide dark circles actually increases the appearance of the puff. And this is why you're all having so much trouble with it. Um, because it's difficult. It's like, what? I don't understand. You know, and when you first do it and you're like, um, wait, I put concealer on to cover my dark circles, but now I look like I have big puffy eyes. You see how that recesses that? Now, for the red carpet, I always go a little warmer on my face anyway because you're under blinding lights. So then, can you still use this? Yes. Look, this is what I'll do with this. I'm going to do this here because I get right under my nose. I'm gonna do that there to highlight this Angry 11 so that I can bounce. Oh, I did put a little Brazilian Beauty Serum there too um, so that I can bounce light after that, uh, off of that because then the photographer's flash will bounce off this area and reflect it and it will look less like I have a wrinkle there. I'm gonna do the rest of my face too, so don't worry. Okay. Um, so on my nose, I actually don't put that foundation or any other. I put this um, Almay Clear Complexion because I break out on my nose. This is where I have my blackheads. I don't know if you can see them. 
It's, I think sometimes if I go too close too fast, you can't see because it gets blurry. So this clear complexion has a little salicylic acid in it and it's good for pimples. And like that's the, these are the areas where I break out, my chin and my nose. And sometimes along the jawline if it's like hormonal, you know? So this, I also don't use my beauty blender because I don't want the salicylic acid to be anywhere else on my face. I just want it in the area of my nose. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna contour this nose down because the other thing that you're doing when you're putting a lighter color on your nose is, you see how my nose is standing out and this is going back? It's all about light and shadow, you guys. If you understand art, you understand makeup because makeup is an art. And so is acting, acting is an art form. I know people call it a craft. I always think that's very weird. I know it's like the thing to say, craft, but it's an art form, um, you know. So light and shadow. So the thing is, is now this looks too predominant. I mean, I have a, a little button nose. I got, I got, you know, lucky in the nose department. But what I can do with the rest of these colors is contour this nose. I can even use this to contour my nose. I'm gonna show you how that would be done. So, because I know you guys are looking at this thinking, well, I'm fair, I can't use that complexion, that, uh, that color. Look at this. You can contour the nose, little shadow on each side. That little V, this is a Marilyn Monroe trick, the movie star of all movie stars. And then this to make it look like a button across. Now I already have a button nose, obviously, but when I put powder on it, if you've seen maybe a picture or two where my nose looks bigger, look at it, it's so funny, right? <sighs> you can do all kinds of things with makeup. So the thing is, is like, because I already have a button nose, but if I put the powder on it, it can look bigger. And then sometimes with the flash and the light, my nose will look bigger. So then you, you take this down right and this is why it's important to put your hair rollers in first because you're saving time because the minute my makeup is done I can take these out and start fluffing and adjusting my hair so then I after I do it with my finger I go to this I gotta do a little bit less because I look like <laughs> a cartoon character because I already have a button nose so now I look like a <laughs> doesn't it I think I overdid it <laughs> it looks funny it's like hello Pinocchio <laughs> so funny okay so but you can imagine if you didn't have a button nose now you've created one because now I have a cartoon button <laughs> the other thing you can do obviously is use any of these darker colors for contouring, right? So this darker color you could use for your jawline, which as you guys know is a concern for me. And you can actually take it here if you have a double chin, which, I mean, I don't have an extreme double chin, but like, you know, if I go like this, of course I have a double chin. Who doesn't if they go like that? So this, you can shade down your neck. Let me do this along here. And you can really contour your jawline. So sometimes when you see like someone and you're like oh my god it looks like they had work done no they just had a really good makeup artist <laughs> now how did I learn all this stuff well I learned this from the drag queens at La Caja Faux at Westchester Broadway Theater because it was my first makeup job like my first big makeup job I got paid $800 um, 
to do all of the drag queens in La Caja Faux. And um, those boys, I mean, I thought I knew what I was doing with makeup because I was already working at Saks Fifth Avenue. And um, I had worked at Bloomingdale's for Estee Lauder and Saks Fifth Avenue. And um, I've worked at Mac in Saks, or was that at Macy's? I think Mac was at Macy's. And um, see how I'm blending that down to disappear? You have to blend it. You can't do this contouring stuff and not blend. So we've covered the eye bags, but this isn't little extra goodies for you for red carpet prep. You have to blend. And this is one of those blending brushes and I just got it at the regular CVS. So then you also have to blend this down, you know, in here. So you wanna make sure that it's not just a demarcation line. Um, so you have to blend some of it down to your chest. But if you have self tanner, you can blend those two together and it'll, you know, like you'll, it'll blend in with your self tanner nicely. Um, so other things that you can do with this, just so that we can see um, the other stuff that we could do. Just looking to see if I have another brush that's usable for this. Oh, we can use this. So you could also use one of these colors for contouring, or if you have like beautiful cafe latte mocha or chocolate skin, you could use those for concealer. I would say this is latte and this is cafe and this is mocha and this is chocolate. I don't know what they're actually called. I don't think they have them on the back. It doesn't seem to, they don't seem to have color, uh, named the colors. So this can be used to contour your whole face. Do you see what I'm saying? This one you could use up here if you wanted. I always contour my forehead for the red carpet. I'll just do that half right now. Um, if you have hooded eyes, you could actually use this color to contour the hood and pull it back. Okay, um, the nose, all that. Now I'm gonna blend this in. This you can use to get rid of reds, right? So like, I mean, my reds are my cheeks, which I kind of like to leave, but I do get a little red around here. So that can help. And I do get a little red around here sometimes. So you could use that for anything that's red. Um, or anything where you want highlight, like you could also use that yellow as a highlight. Let me do that before we put the palette down. Just wanna show you that you can. Okay, or maybe here. You could do that here. Yeah, just put some more paint on you guys. Put some more paint. This one's a little too low. But that's okay, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna take this blending brush. This is from Eco Tools. Oh no, it's from La Creme. La Creme Shop, sorry. I thought it was Eco Tools. So this you wanna blend up. You wanna blend up like crazy because I got it down too low. You don't wanna make your contour too low because it will drag your face down. You do want it to be a little bit below your bone. So that was a little too low. Just FYI, you should pick it up a little bit. But if I brush it up instead of brushing it down, I can sort of fix the mistake I made. And then this I can go through here. There's no such thing as too much blending, you guys. No such thing, because you want it to look seamless. You want people to go, oh my gosh, did she get work done? Because if they say, oh gosh, her makeup, then you're seeing the like the obvious signs of what the makeup has done to the face. Um, I mean, it's okay to be like, oh gosh, her makeup looks gorgeous or whatever, but you shouldn't know what it's done unless you're a pro. You know, the average um, person that doesn't do makeup, 
I'm just gonna pull this out of the way so we can do the rest of the forehead. Shouldn't be able to um, know what it is that you've done to your face unless they're totally into makeup. I'm gonna contour the other side of my forehead with this. So that's why that's a good little palette. You guys see the magic of that? Now I am blending it all together. Just blending it all. Now I'm not gonna go under my eyes because I don't wanna take away that coverage, right? But I am gonna blend the daylights out of everything else I did so that it looks seamless and organic as if everything is together. And you can do that with any palette that's like that. Any contouring, highlighting, concealing palette. But I thought this was great that they have this at the CVS, you know, and it's from CoverGirl. And um, the price tag is off, but you know, it's it's, a drugstore thing, so it's a, an affordable price point. All right, do you guys see the magic? Now, obviously, I, I need to get my eyebrows done, but I don't have a red carpet coming up soon. So, my eyebrows are kind of crazy. I'm just doing this for you guys, because whenever I am doing it for the red carpet, I'm just way too nervous to actually do a video. And I usually don't have the time. You know, I'm like rushing and, ang and anxious. <laughs> um, so, uh, okay, so I think we're pretty blended. So then I would go and I would add a little foundation to this um, or add a little concealer to different areas. And so because I have so much coverage going on, I can actually go with a very simple foundation. You guys know I have this, but I also every day like to use my It Cosmetics CC cream. I'm drinking water. This is this Just Water stuff. Mm, which I don't know where that It Cosmetics CC cream is, but I think you guys have seen that a million times. So this, um, I could do the rest with this. And you can also use this without doing any of this because this is a nice little simple stick to have in your bag. I like this product a lot because of the applicator um, and the sheerness of it. Now, yes, I'm going to be taking away some of my contour during that. But you notice you could have done that first. I was just showing you that like I would normally do the foundation first, but I already had some on from the day, so. I thought it was okay to show you that over it. But you see, because that's very sheer, it just blends in with everything else. And I don't, as much as I like a glam look, I don't like a cakey look, right? So I don't necessarily like to cover a lot of, with a lot of foundation, um, if I can avoid it. I do use the double wear for the red carpet a lot, if I'm fair. In the winter time, I get fair, and in the summertime, I get really tan. So, like this, um, I do use a lot for the red carpet. So, let's just take a little bit of that double wear in case you love it. And, but I don't put this in places, in too many places. Like, I would probably put it on my forehead because this is where I get so shiny but I, be care I would be careful of putting it in any wrinkles. And I could put a little bit on my nose to get that to like shut down. All right. Okay. Now you're going to want to, if you can, you don't have to do this step. Um, as I, <laughs> I am not paparazzi perfect, you guys. 
you could you do the contouring with this i'm actually gonna follow up the cream contour with this contour yes i'm a maximist i'm next level i'm all over it you guys next level craziness so this i will follow up with look at my desk look how messy it is <laughs> yeah yeah you see i am not paparazzi perfect this is this is the struggle this is the struggle with my life so this i make sure it's closer to the bone right that this is your cheekbone you want your blush to go like right there your shimmer to go right there this so any contour you just want to lift it up lift it up you see how i just made that cheekbone pop look at the difference but i i did the other one down here to cut it in and this one i'm lifting up And then I do like around my forehead like this because I have a very big forehead and I don't have bangs right now. I, tell me if you guys, if I should get bangs again. I had bangs before. Um, you've probably seen them in the past videos. And you can definitely see them on my Facebook. Everything's Nile Lynn on social media. I could go in darker with this one, right? Because we talked about that jawline. And then you can go into your cleavage and give a little, like all the way down, just so it's seamless. Because you don't want your neck, like especially if you have a V-neck neck dress, you want to make sure to do the exposed skin at the v-neck otherwise your face looks completely different than whatever flesh is showing up here so whatever type of top of dress that you're wearing whether it's like off the shoulder or whatever make sure to do makeup on that area just like a bronzer or something that matches that pulls it everything together um okay so this around here a three around here a three and then i go back over the nose with that and I'm probably not gonna do shadow, so I just wanna show you, this is another thing I do when I'm trying to do it quickly. Um, I just do that. Um, and then I would go in with the lighter palette with a different brush in this, pa in this thing to settle the um, eye stuff, but very minimally. So I would just take this and very minimally sweep, sweep sweep up you don't want to cake it you just want to a little dusting to set and, and I'm not like dragging you know and then around here and now this is the time where you could also put like a shimmer here but you can use this yellow for a highlight too for red carpet I would totally put a shimmer but if you're doing this for like an everyday I wouldn't do the shimmer and then I go in and I try to make sure I haven't gotten too close to the nose. And I define that a little bit. You see how sharp that looks now? Right? Looks like I had work done. I did. I had a good makeup artist. And there's other makeup artists that are much better than me. I'm actually bad at my own makeup. Um, you can ask my girlfriends because when I do their faces, I'm better at it because I have an outside perspective and I, I, there could be like major mistakes right now, um, that I'm not seeing because I'm not looking in the regular mirror, right? Because in here it looks different. So let me just check it all in the regular mirror. Yeah, it needs to be blended. Now this is extreme, this isn't an everyday look, this is a red carpet look, so you can add whatever lips and eyes you want. Get your eyebrows done at least a week before the red carpet. Um, don't get them done the day before because if you're red or something happens, that's really bad. Anytime you're doing that, anytime you're doing something special like headshots, red carpet, bridal, like wedding day stuff, don't do the stuff the day of. Do all the grooming stuff 
two weeks ahead of time. Like get your hair cut two weeks ahead of time so that it has time to grow in a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to look like a haircut on the day of. Get um, everything else done two weeks ahead of time and your eyebrows, I would say a week to two weeks just in case because you can always like tweeze one brow. My eyebrows are a mess right now because I haven't gone lately. Um, but you can always take out like one eyebrow, right? So the thing is, is if you get it two weeks ahead of time and that way if there is a mistake, you're not like, you don't have to have, you're not having zero chance to grow it back out. Um, all right, so um, normally, obviously for the red carpet, I would throw on a magnetic lash and let's take out this hair and I'll show you what has happened here. This is also, I mean, this is also good audition makeup um, if you're playing a glamorous character. If you're not playing a glamorous character, obviously you don't want to do all of this because, you know, you want, like if I was playing like, um, you know, an alcoholic mom that lost her baby to social services, which I would love to play a role like that, um, you know, I'm not going to do all of this. Look at, look at, like, see, do you see how nice these are? Like, that just gives so much. And you guys have seen my hair in other videos when I don't do it. And I, when I don't do it, I've usually had it in a scrunchie all day. And I'm just, like, brushing it flat for the video just to try to make it look semi, you know, presentable. And you guys have seen how crazy and it looks. And when it's, um, sorry, I think I just spit at the screen. And when it's, when it um, air dries, um, like without the curlers, oh, there's one there. Um, it looks like a wavy, frizzy mass. So you see this, I mean, it just brings out the dimensions of your hair. It's, these are, I love these things. Now I, I would like to find a travel set. I don't know if there's a travel set. Look at that. I mean, I'm already, I'm a different person. This is a different person. Now let me put a lip gloss on. I won't put anything dramatic. I'll just put like this neutral lip that I already had on. And then, oops, I think I went out of the lines. <sighs> okay, okay, I wonder if there's, um, I don't see my uh, lashes on my desk. So I'll just put a little, I would always just add a little mascara because you can't have enough. Oh, what's in my hair? What is that? What is that, you guys? What is it? I hate it when you do a YouTube video and then you watch it afterwards and there was a mistake that you didn't see. This mascara is not my everyday Maybelline. This is... A different one I will show it to you in two seconds I like to do a wiggle wiggle up this is NK makeup mascara from the beauty supply this stuff is a dollar ninety nine and I get it all the time because like you know I use mascara like it's going like, we're, like, you know, that, like, it's going to be rationed. Like, I buy it like it's going to be rationed. Like, like, I wouldn't be able to live without mascara. So I'm just checking, just checking here the details. Um, so one of the things that I would do with this is I would um, spray it with hairspray. For, like, I would, I would fluff it out, brush it a bit, um, do some different details. Then I would hairspray it. And then I would add some of this stuff. This is pink, lusters, pink, glossy, glosser, glosser. I wouldn't just say glossier. So this glosser, let me show you the glosser. This, where's a paddle brush? Any brush will do. This is my little, right? So I would hairspray that first, but my spray isn't on my desk. I just want to show you the glosser because you know what hairspray is. The glosser gives it like a, a sheen 
And so that's really nice if you have naturally frizzy hair. And my hair, although it's not tight curls, it is loose curls. And so it does get frizzy, um, which you've probably seen in other videos when I don't do it. And so my last finishing touch before leaving is to put a little gloss on the top. Not too much, because you don't want to grease up your hair. The other things you can do, obviously, are like a silk serum on the end. That's the product. This is from Remy. And I go like this and like just the ends. You don't want to put this like up by your scalp because it will make your hair look greasy. Now you could totally amp this up to a more red carpet look with like a stronger blush and all that stuff. But I also find that um, like brides like to look really natural and so I didn't want to go over the top because I feel like some of the people that are watching this are people that are getting married and brides. So you just want to add then a blush to complement. <laughs> you guys, could I drop one more thing? You want to add a blush to complement your lips. And um, I'm just looking to see if I have one on my desk. Here we go. You can use whatever blush you want. This is just from Beauty a quad from Beauty Trends. And so I think that this is probably the best color right now. So I do think that under the lights, you'll need a little bit more just here and then up. I'm gonna blend it, don't worry. And just here and then up. Cause the, any lights really wash you out. And the, the, the thing is, is makeup is light reflective. So it's going to flash off your face and your face is gonna look really white. And so you do need blush. Gina de Pepe. Gina de Pepe doesn't like to wear blush. <laughs> Calling you out, girl, if you're watching this video. All right, so I'm gonna show you one more thing. This, which I could have done the whole con most of the contour with, but just I'm just using this because the shimmer powder. You do not need all these products, you guys. Get stuff that's right for you based on this video and get the least amount of stuff that you need. Um, I'm just showing you different stuff because I have a ton of makeup. So this, this is a fan brush from um, Rampage. All right, this is this shimmery color. And this is gonna go, don't worry, I'm gonna clean up the rest of it. This is gonna go that color right there. The Elf is a really good price point if you need something cheap. This is going to go right here. Shimmer. And you could also don't worry, I'm gonna blend it. You know me, I love blending. Do this right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, and right there. And then you have to blend, you have to blend. You have to blend like crazy. And then always go in super close and check details out. Like I see if I go in super close that I've got a little sleep in this eye right now and that I need to clean that out. And that I got, you know, like I, that I got a little buildup. So always check everything like Super close. I know that looks really scary to do that. Um, 
in an HD mirror because these details show up with these HD cameras. I think this side is okay. Still blending, still blending. Now I'll do, if you guys want me to, I'll do glass skin. I didn't do glass skin today. I did glass skin on the red carpet for um, day one opening night of the um, New York City International Film Festival at the Dolby Theater. And you can see it's my IMDB picture. Um, my IMDB is Niall Lynn and Wiley, O-Y-N-N. You'll see that, that, that's glass skin that I did that night. Um, which is like super hydrated and moisturized. And I did rollers that night. And then I put my hair back like in a clip with rollers. And you'll see it's like, that's a, it's a different look. But um, if you want me to do a glass skin tutorial, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll do that. So like this is honestly, like I could wear this out every day and nobody would think a thing because I live in New York City. And I also think that, you know, the teenagers are wearing so much makeup nowadays that, I mean, I don't even have a false lash on you guys. So it's like, you know, this is a natural look. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn Recap. This was from Koki. It has directions on it, so it's a nice palette. This is matte, so it's perfect for every day. This contouring palette is from e.l.f. and has a great price point. And these are matte, and then that one's shimmer, so it has a combo. And it comes with a mirror, both of them have a mirror, and this could fit in a, in a purse. Um, recap, Beauty Trends, Quad, got it at Rainbow. Uh, this was from Rite Aid. This was from CVS. The rollers were probably from Target, Conair Rollers. Um, gloss is Revlon. Barely blush or something like that. Here, let's see. Barely blush, 525. Revlon plumping, love this. Such a great color, right? Just so natural every day. Um, concealer, infallible, right? Um, 03. And that Cover Girl Correction Full Spectrum Cover Girl Contour Correct, Contour and Correct Expert. I mean, I got this at the CVS, you guys so awesome and I used every color on my face to make sure that you knew you could use the whole thing um a little mascara right and that one I showed you before and oh the go brows on my brows so this is what's on my brows go brows and they need to be done but this is it's like a brow mascara I don't know if I did that on camera so that's what I usually use it's from RK, which is, I believe, Ruby Kiss or something like that. And that's from the beauty supply store. And um, this is the hair serum for your ends. And this is, oh, the Glossier is is on the ground. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn. I hope you like this look. And please comment below and make requests for anything that you would like me to do um, for you. The robe is from Victoria's Secret, but I got it on Poshmark for a lot less. So I'm going to go fix my hair and finalize the look. Thanks for tuning in. This is Niall Lynn. Have a beautiful day.